you know, I asked him, I'm like, hey buddy, why, why aren't you eating? And he said, dad, if I eat, I'll grow up. If I grow up, I'll become a daddy. If I become a daddy, I'll have to leave my family. My sons needed me more as their father uh, than the, you know, the Navy needed another SEAL. Guys were getting sick. It's a respiratory problem that, you know, you have for the rest of your life. Because does it matter? Does it matter what the consequences are? If it's the, if right, it's the thing? right thing? Chris Seinhug. I was born in Wisconsin and I spent 20 years in the Navy. Uh, joined the Navy when I was uh, 19 and basically I joined because I didn't have a place to live and met a recruiter and he said he'd give me food and shelter. So I joined, um, ended up uh, meeting a diver, was my company commander in boot camp. And he said I would be a good diver, so I ended up going to dive school. So I was a diver working with the SEALs for four years, and I enjoyed working with them so much that I ended up becoming one myself, going through SEAL training. So growing up, I basically grew up without a father. My dad left my mom when I was maybe two months old, um, and that stayed with me a long time. And it's been ever since I was a child. I, you know, I think people with their, with their parents, they always seem to go one way or the other. If they have really good parents, you know, they can be, grow up, they can have, be good parents themselves, or if they have bad parents, you know, but it was for me that not having a father I told myself that from a very young age that if I ever did have children, uh, that I was going to be the best father that I could. And that stuck with me and, you know, I ended up joining the military and uh, came to San Diego and I met, met my wife here in 2001. Uh, and we ended up having, uh, we have two boys. Um, and. You know, I thought because that I lived in the same house that they lived at, uh, that I was being a good father. Like I just kind of assumed I didn't have it in me to, to realize, wait a minute, I actually have to put in the work uh, and actually be there rather than, you know, just getting my mail there or, you know, seeing them when I came back from deployments. Um, and, you know, it just one day it just hit me. So I came home from my, what would be my last deployment, and um, I have two sons, uh, and they were one and three years, or four at the time. And my oldest son wouldn't eat for like two weeks, and you know, everyone's trying to get him to eat, and he just wouldn't eat. And uh, one day he ends up telling me, I, he's, you know, I asked him, I'm like, hey buddy, why, why aren't you eating? And he said, Dad, if I eat, I'll grow up. If I grow up, I'll become a daddy. If I become a daddy, I'll have to leave my family. And he actually said that, he told me that the day before I was supposed to go to re-enlist uh, for another five years um, in the Navy and get a $250,000 bonus, um, continue on, you know, in the SEAL teams, uh, instead, I went in the next day and submitted my retirement papers. I realized that my sons needed me more as their father uh, than the, you know, the Navy needed another SEAL. Uh, you know, it's like time for me to grow up and become a dad. Guys were getting sick. It's a respiratory problem that you know, you have for the rest of your life. Because does it matter? Does it matter what the consequences are if it's the if right it's thing? thing?